take the speakers, right? At the same time, you say to yourself, this is the last time I'm ever gonna steal something. Looking back on the iconic series, I'd love to know what are some of your favorite moments from The Sopranos? When they play Monopoly with Jim and Janice and Bobby and Carmela and Tony is an amazing moment. How about that? How about that? When Polly goes to the medium and throws the chair at, at the ghosts. As a long time fan and fanboy of Annabella Sciorra when she came on. I just thought her storyline just threw me for a loop and just, you know, sucked me right in. She was a black hole of destruction and misery, but it was like so seductive and captivating as usual. You have good taste. I'm kind of ashamed because of something I wrote. I like the discussion between Tony and Bobby Bacala about the Hunchback of Notre Dame and all that. Nostradamus and Notre Dame. It's two different things completely. Well, there's the ones I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still very thrilled about the chance to finish the relationship between Tony and Christopher in uh, an episode called Kennedy and Heidi. I get it! I get it! <laughs> I really love the episode when they go back to Italy, thinking that they're going to go back and discover their roots and that there's going to be this kind of great connection to the old country. And they get there and everybody thinks they're a bunch of idiots. Can I just get some macaroni and gravy? Ma che cos'è questo gravy? I love this series. It's so hard to, to choose, but I think my favorite moment is when he goes in coma because you can understand all the characters, the way they react. Dad, look, here you are. <laughs> there are so many amazing like recasts of younger versions of iconic characters. I'm curious, was there a moment when you were on set with Michael where you were like, this is the perfect moment and like the perfect casting for the young Tony? During the read through before we started shooting and he was way across the room from me and it wasn't even a scene that he was in, but he was listening to two actors do that scene and he was, he had his arms on the table like this, and his shoulders were going, and the expression on his face, it was, it was uh, James. And that was, was, like, kind of threw me. What'd you say? What impressed me the most was just how forensically he went about creating the character and working on it as an actor. But no, the, the minute we've stepped on set the first day, like, he evokes the character that we know while also bringing his own life to it. I went through all that trouble, and for what? I'm always being accused. He should close his ears because, you know, this is... <laughs> but no, I, uh, I actually, it was, it was actually an off-screen moment. Um, of course, whenever everybody's telling stories about James and, and what kind of a leader he was, on the set and and here we had young Michael who I just thought was an exceptional leader. He wouldn't be working that day but he'd be texting me, hey, how'd your scene go today? I know you had this to shoot today. Just the way that he was checking in and making sure that we stayed connected was deeply meaningful to me and I think would have made his dad proud. If anybody tells anybody about this, 